Hey everyone, can I ask something? Is Planet X just another name for me, or are we totally different? That's a great question! I honestly have no idea. Same here. I've heard both, but it's confusing. You see, I would just Google it, but I can't because somebody stole my phone! Again! Oh, relax, Saturn. You'll get your phone back in about two hours, maybe three. By the rings of Cronus, hand it over or else I will. Wait, why don't we ask Taishi? She knows all the space rumors. <sighs> Do we have to? After what happened a few months ago, I'd rather not talk to her. Come on, Neptune, let it go. Taishi didn't even do anything to you. Now follow me, Uranus and Neptune. We are going to Taishi. Hey, Taishi, over here. Oh, hey, Uranus and Planet 9 and Neptune. What are you guys doing here? We are just trying to figure out if Planet X and Planet 9 are the same thing. Can you clear this up? Great question. Actually, they're not the same. Let me explain. Back in the early 1900s, Percival Lowell thought there was a hidden planet beyond Neptune. He called it Planet X. He guessed it would be about 7 to 10 times heavier than the Earth. So pretty massive. He also imagined it as a frigid ice giant, maybe 3 times bigger than the Earth, orbiting way out, 43 astronomical units away from the Sun. That's 1.075 times farther than Neptune which is about 30 astronomical units away from the sun. So what's the difference between Planet 9 and Planet X? Well, scientists thought that Planet X was a big ice giant planet, way out there with an orbit of maybe 280 years. As said before, Planet X was predicted to be 7 to 10 Earth masses and 3 times bigger than the Earth. Planet 9 though, that's the current hot topic. Planet 9 is thought to be either a sub planet or a super-terrestrial planet, maybe 3.3 to 10 Earth masses, and her orbit is estimated to be a whopping 10 to 20,000 years long, so it's way, way further out than Planet X was ever imagined. So did anyone ever find this Planet X? Not really, Lowell's search led to the discovery of Pluto, but Pluto turned out to be much too small to cause the weird wobbles in other planets' orbits. Later, when Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989, scientists realized those wobbles were just because they miscalculated Neptune's mass. So Planet X, as Lowell imagined it, was disproven. Well, mystery solved. Can we go now? My orbit is calling. Neptune, can you shut the fuck up? Don't worry, Uranus. We can hang out with Taishi another time. Thanks for clearing things up, Taishi. We appreciate it. Anytime. If you need more space facts, you know where to find me. Hey, behind you. Who the heck are you?